episode of Codename New to Bureau 2. I'm your presenter, Shabu Are You. Now, most of us that are tuning in are working professionals. So, what if, you know, here you are and you meet people and they always praise you for things you did 30 years ago? And not too many people chime in or say anything that you're doing today. It's always in the past and not what you're doing now. I mean, you're getting up every morning, you're putting all that effort into doing your task, your job, and you're never getting acknowledgement of what you're doing. And as a matter of fact, you have new freedoms that you didn't have back then. And you felt that you've grown as a professional and you're delivering your, your A game you know, as you've gotten older and gained more experience. But still, people say, oh yeah, the thing you did 30 years ago, that was the best, I love it. Uh, I, you know, yay, I'm still relevant, you know. And this video, I'm actually piggybacking off of a campaign spearheaded by our good friend, ACC788. Now, through the wire and filter down, it's been brought to the community's attention that legend Larry Hammer feels that he's not getting the recognition and credit that he rightfully deserves. Now, I'm sure you're all like, what? You know, I'd stand in line for, you know, two hours just to meet him. Yeah, that's true. But are you, are you looking at what he's doing now? And my channel, you know, I try to like highlight the new IDW comic run because I really feel that they're really good. And, and I'm actually going to share, I'm, I'm guilty of one thing. And this is why I'm doing this video is since I cover the modern IDW, I'm known, and I told this to HCC, I've seen letters from the pit, you know, that remember in Hasbro used to be filled, like, you know, and then the print used to be this big, but now there's maybe like three, four, five letters that show up in each episode. So I've seen that, and I've seen the plea from Larry Hammond and IDW Send in your ideas, you know, Larry would love to hear from you. Not many people write. I'm guilty of that. And I've been covering modern IDW comics. Well, that's gonna change because I wanna let Larry know how much he's meant to me as a little Indian kid, you know, growing up in South Jersey to now as a working professional. I want to let Larry know how much G.I. Joe and how much what he's doing now matters as to me as an adult and how Larry Hammett today is needed in our society. We all look at the news. We all see what's going on with the uh, hatred, this, that, boop, boop, boop. But Larry Hammett's writing shows us how we as Americans, as human, human beings, ought to respond and how to act towards one another. That's why Larry Hama is relevant today. And also, if you look at Marvel, you look at DC, they're chasing movie monies. They're, oh, uh, you know, Endgame is big, you know. And rightfully so, it's a good, you know, it's entertaining, it's good. But Larry Hama, and then Star Wars, oh, raise a strong female character. Larry Ham has been doing the same thing quietly. Yeah, since 2015, you know, with the Death of Snake Eye saga and all the new characters and everything unfolding, Larry Ham has been doing the same thing quietly. And I might add better without, you know, how Lucasfilms is shoving that down our throat. Larry Ham is just integrating it nice into his story. So I wanted to read, first of all, like, you know, I brought some, you know, here are the Marvel issues, and we all know, like, people always bring these up to him to sign. Guys, start bringing these, the new stuff. And, let, and I'm gonna, I know it's tough to find G.I. Joe. I've been saying that in my, in my videos, it's tough to find G.I. Joe in comics. And I see from the analytical aspect, G.I. Joe is ranked in the third tier. It is doing poorly in overall sales. 
If it was any other title, and if it wasn't part of this lump sum package that IDW and Hasbro has, it probably would be cut. I'm being honest with you. The numbers are that low. When you see like, uh, well, gosh, I mean, My Little Pony is a Hasbro, but My Little Pony comic sales is higher than G.I. Joe. It's in the third tier. It's bad, you know? And I know there, it doesn't account for digital purchases of it, and if you do it, that's also good. That helps the overall aesthetics, but in overall comic book sales, G.I. Joe is struggling. And it's us as fans, we have all these Twitter accounts, we have all these Facebook accounts, you know, ah, oh, yo Joe, yo Joe. You know, the only way to help yo Joe is with our dollars. So if you don't have access to GI Joe, I'll help you. There's Midtown Comics based in New York. They ma they mail out comics to people that don't have access to comics in their neighborhood neighborhood comic shop. And go and talk to your local comic book shop. Say, hey, I'm a GI Joe fan. I like to get back into G.I. Joe. Can you please purchase that? So, And I guarantee I'll come and pick it up every month. Develop that repertoire. Like in the 90s, that's what it was all about. Not everything can be done on a computer. We need to like humanize all of this a little bit. And, you know, help Larry. Let Larry know that he means a lot to us today. And there's going to be a time not too far away where Larry Hama is going to say, I'm done, you know, uh, I'm retiring. And, you know, he's, he's at that age. He, has, he doesn't owe us anything, you know. Um, and we just have to know, we just have to make that effort and let him know that what he's doing now <clears throat> means a lot. And if you're not following modern IDW comics, make it a point too. Because you're, I mean... It's actually really good, A, and B, you're helping out G.I. Joe. So I'm going to go ahead and read my letter to Larry. And this is, you know, my letter that I'm, I've already sent it to the pit. This letter is 30 years in the making. Like 95% that echo with, no, I'm sorry, let me start over. This letter is 30 years in the making. While 95% echo with compliments of your work in the past, I'm here to acknowledge and thank you for your work today. In 2015, I saw a small blurb stating that iconic G.I. Joe character Snake Eyes has died. It was that tiny news flash that began my return to G.I. Joe full-heartedly. I am more impressed and appreciate your work on the IDW run of G.I. Joe. The storylines are amazing. As you are more free to work on storylines and character development than in the past. Series after series, it's been wonderful to ingest. I would also say your current work is the lone bright star in today's sad comic scene. While other companies like Marvel and DC are more interested in movies and over the quality of content like it was back in the early 90s. The time and effort put into today's G.I. Joe is the only reminder of the 90s era of quality comics. I'm good friends with 3D Joes and active in the G.I. Joe community via YouTube. I keep telling viewers how good G.I. Joe is today and how it's a must read. I also want to thank you for another reason. My father was a U.S. Marine during the Vietnam era. I sort of followed his footsteps after college and began working for a particular government agency. I am Muslim by faith and my parents and grandparents hail from India. Larry, you've made G.I. Joe something for everyone from all walks of life. I remember one incident when a mother would not allow me into the house to play with their son, whom I thought was my friend. And half an hour later, I rode my bike around the block and I saw another kid go into that house and was allowed inside. It was my first taste of the evils of discrimination. I was only nine years old. But I was old enough to know what the G.I. Joe team really stood for. And that incident was something that I did nothing wrong. Diversity and difference was the Joe team's strength. So yes, Mr. Hammer. 
Your work is needed today. Just look at the news. We needed to show our great country this important message. You've quietly incorporated strong female characters, strong eth ethnical characters, as all are needed to symbolize America, humanity's better qualities. Going back to what I stated earlier, I am more impressed and appreciate what Larry Hama is putting out in 2019 versus 1989. And more fans, more fans that love what G.I. Joe symbolizes should acknowledge what you're contributing to society today. Thank you. I know you've asked readers to submit ideas. I always wanted to see an issue that takes place in the swamps of Florida, my state. Let's have a team of Seal Joes, Torpedo, Wetsuit, Tracker, a team of Ranger Joes, Stalker, Beachhead, Meet up with Rikondo, Muskrat, and Pathfinder. Cobra wants to tamper with SpaceX at Kennedy Space Center and mess with their missions and commandeer the launch pad. Of course, Payload and Countdown come into the picture. Also note that the Navy SEAL Museum is in Fort Pierce, Florida. The Defiant comes out as the shuttle program is canceled and Atlantis Discovery Endeavor are mothballed. As only show available is the Defiant to stop Cobra. I know this is all my ingredients for you to utilize in an upcoming story of your choice. In closing, thank you, Larry, for continuing giving us such quality work. And thank you for making G.I. Joe something for everyone to believe in and enjoy. Sincerely me. Guys, take the time. Subscribe to IDW G.I. Joe Comics. If you're lucky to see Larry, tell him you appreciate him then and you appreciate him now. Because time is running out. He's not gonna he's not gonna be doing this for much longer. And that's just my message. And I wanna give a special thank and shout out to Hooded Cobra Commander 788. He's the one that spearheaded this and I've been sitting quietly while doing these comic reviews and not pointing this out and I feel ashamed like the whole point I mean yes I that's the point of me doing it is to get people interested in you know the modern G.I. Joe comics but it's when I heard that from ACC how Larry's been a, like you know everybody goes to these cons I mean he has a little chair and then the author for uh, uh, Into the Spider-Verse gets a nice, big, lavish booth. And then he sits in this, uh, you know, picnic, a little folding table with the folding chair. Larry Hama. And, like, you know, little letters. Larry Hama's done so much and is still doing so much to remind our country what it needs to be. That's, it's, that's the American way of doing things is with honor, class, dignity. You know, believe in other people that, you know, they may be different, but if they're good people here, then that's all that matters. If they carry themselves with honor, then that's the most important thing. All life is precious. So I hope this little episode gives people something to think about. And it's a heart to heart. There's, I'm not having no videos or anything like that. Just think about it. And if you'd like to help out, contact HCC 788 and Carson from 3D Joe's. Let's let Larry know because the convention season's kicking up how much he means. Thanks, guys.